In a previous video, we talked about the binomial distribution, among other distributions, and we said that it models the number of successes in a fixed number of independent trials, where each trial has the same probability of success p. For example, flipping a coin 10 times and counting how many heads we've got could follow a binomial distribution. So, simply put, the binomial distribution is described by two parameters n, which is the number of trials, and p, which is the probability of success in each trial. Thus, the probability of observing exactly k successes is given by the following formula. We've explained it in the previous video, so make sure to check it if you are not familiar with what each term here means. The link to it is in the description below. Now, let's imagine what would happen if n becomes very large and p becomes very small, or in other terms, n tends to infinity and p tends to zero. For instance, imagine counting rare events like the number of phone calls arriving at a call center in a minute, or the number of typos in a book. Each event is success, but it's so rare that the probability of any one success p is small. However, if we have many trials, these rare events can still happen a few times. Now, you can still use the binomial distribution to calculate this probability, but there is an easier way of doing that, which doesn't require raising p to a very large number, and probably you've guessed by now if you have clicked this video, that this is the Poisson distribution, which basically approximates the binomial distribution in such extreme cases. Now, let's derive the Poisson distribution starting from the binomial distribution. So, the binomial distribution is the following. Now, one important condition for the Poisson distribution is that lambda, which is the average number of occurrences in an interval, and is equal to n multiplied by p, to be constant. And, with a simple derivation, we can obtain that p is equal to lambda divided by n. Next, we simplify the binomial coefficient and rewrite it as follows by expanding it. Next, we eliminate those terms here that are found in both the numerator and the denominator. Now, because n is very large compared to k, we can ignore it in each term and thus we can approximate the numerator as n to the power of k. So we obtain the following. Finally, we have the last term here, 1 minus lambda divided by n raised to the power n minus k. Again, because n is much larger than k, we can ignore it and approximate the term as follows. Now, this is nothing else than the definition of the number e raised to a certain power. So this term here is equal to e to the power of minus lambda. Finally, let's substitute everything into the binomial formula and if we simplify it by removing this term here, voila, we have the Poisson formula distribution, where, again, lambda is the average rate of occurrences in a fixed interval, and k is the number of successes you want to calculate the probability for. And thus, we have derived the Poisson distribution, which emerges as a limiting case of the binomial distribution, and is applicable when we deal with rare events occurring in a large number of trials. One last thing I would like to talk about is how this function varies based on lambda, the average rate of occurrences. When lambda is small, say lambda equals to 1, the distribution is heavily skewed to the left, and most of the probability mass is concentrated near k equals to 0, meaning that it is very likely to not observe any occurrences or one occurrence with progressively smaller probabilities for higher values of k. As the lambda increases, the distribution begins to spread out and becomes more symmetric. For example, at lambda equals to 5, the probabilities for k equals to 3, 4, 5, 7, and 6 are relatively high, and the peak of the distribution shifts to the right. This reflects that, on average, we expect 5 occurrences. For even larger values of lambda, Say lambda equals to 10, the Poisson distribution resembles a normal distribution, centered at around k equals to 10 in this case. This is a manifestation of the central limit theorem, about which we'll probably talk in another video, where many distributions, including the Poisson, 
approximate a normal distribution when their mean is large. And that's basically it for this video. Please hit the like button if you found this video helpful, share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the content I create on this channel. Last but not least, I'd like to give a big thanks to all the people that are directly supporting this channel, including my Patreons and my YouTube members. And please consider joining them if you'd like to help me continue creating content for you. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!